Hey guys! Hi! Welcome back to Going Green. If you've been participating in our challenges, first of all, congratulations. Congratulations, guys. We're so proud of you. And we're going to give you the details on our prize giveaway. If you haven't been participating, don't worry because we're you still have a chance to yeah, you know, catch up. Late. Just go ahead and uh, watch our first videos and fill out the form that we have created for you. The information is below in the description in case you don't know what we're talking about, so yes. don't worry. Also, I interviewed a local activist this week, so definitely you'll want to watch that interview. Really interesting. Before we get to your prize and showing you what's in that, uh, we wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how we've been doing with these first five challenges. Yes. So how have you been doing, Amanda? <laughs> I think I've been doing really well with the mindfulness part of it. I, I definitely am very aware of, you know, every time I use a single use plastic yeah. item. But when I'm traveling, I have a hard time. It's so, tough. So I did end up buying a filter for my water bottles. I've struggled a little bit with when I'm at the store trying to find products that are not wrapped in plastic for something that I can't make myself yes. or I can't make at home. That one's or, hard. It's a that tough one's one. really hard. Yeah, especially if you, like, I don't And you eat gotta eat. Dairy. Right. You gotta eat. So, and I don't want to be so tough on myself. You gotta pick your battles and you know, at the end of the day, if you're doing these top 10 challenges, mm -hmm. you're already making a really big difference, right? right? So there are some things we can't control and with those we have to kind of just say, it's okay. <laughs> this is Brian from Plastic Symptoms. Welcome to Going Green. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your journey and how it started? Absolutely. Uh, so the journey that we took was a trek around the entire coast of Florida. It was over 1200 miles. Um, to gather uh, not only plastics off our coastline, but also bring awareness to the plastic uh, epidemic. Awesome. And um, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis to counteract this awful problem we're going through? So, of course, we pick up the beach whenever we can, uh, but doing that isn't enough. And that mm -hmm. alone is not gonna help us solve the plastic epidemic. Um, and to uh, counteract the symptom, we have to be proactive and we have to bring our reusable containers as well as our reusable cutlery. Um, but you just bring this with you anywhere you go and it uh, helps you avoid using plastics. So you think that if we all do this individually, we can make a big difference, right? Absolutely, and I think that we can actually hold each other accountable for it too. What is the weirdest thing you found on your cleanups? <laughs> we found parts of what we think could be a rocket as well as uh, blood vials. Oh. Um, and these are a uh, hot find uh, along the coast of Florida. Looks like it came from a vinegar container um, from probably the Dominican Republic. What is something that your journey has taught you? Because you've done some pretty amazing things. I definitely learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about the people around me. The first time that I was heard about marine debris, that's how it was described to me. I thought to myself, what, like hurricane debris, palm fronds, seaweed, oh, yeah. things like that. No, but marine debris is actual plastic. And then when you, when you call it plastic, you can go to the store and you can say, hey, that's plastic, I'm buying that. Does that mean that that's going into the ocean when I throw it away? You know, like there's my Tide detergent. I'm gonna put this in my cart. When you go home, you think I've used it all, I'm gonna put it in my recycling. They can create a whole new one out of it, but it doesn't work that way. It's gonna contribute to greenhouse gases, it's gonna contribute to um, the overall health of not just us and our next generation yeah because we're using those chemicals in our waterways now too and on our you know bodies what we're wearing yes yeah. and it's it's going to continue to mutate our genome uh, endocrine disruptors are known to do that and so that's what we're messing with here and when people know when you start to tell people like um, you and me we start acting right and so the more people we tell the more people are going to act the more people are going to want to change because the truth is the truth. Well, thanks so much, Brian. We appreciate everything that you're Thank doing. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you for having me. Please follow us, uh, Plastic Symptoms, on Instagram, uh, also on Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, we also have PlasticSymptoms.org. Uh, you can check out all the upcoming events we have planned. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. We will definitely answer them as soon as possible. And we do want to help you out, so ask questions. Um, so let's go ahead and get into your free giveaway. 
And here are the details on that. To start, you have a cutlery set. It comes with a repurposed handmade bag. You get a fork, a spoon, a knife, a straw, and a straw cleaner. Then you have a vacuum sealed plastic free stainless steel water bottle that will keep your drinks warm or cold. We have a reusable coffee mug, which is made of bamboo fiber. And we also have a reusable snack bag. You can put it in the dishwasher and this will save you probably 500 Ziploc plastic single use bags a year. And lastly, we have that 100% organic cotton tote so you can use it for shopping. That wraps it up for today. So thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye guys. Bye guys.